Hey everybody, this is Brett and today I'm super excited to show you this brand new 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4xE in black clear coat. This 2023 Jeep Wrangler has the two liter turbocharged engine with the hybrid technology. It's gonna get you 49 miles per gallon equivalent with the gas and the electric. It's gonna get you 20 miles per gallon average with just the gas engine. I'm gonna go all the way around in this video, inside, start it up, um, show you all the options, and uh, I really like this Wrangler. It's probably one of the, if not the best looking Wranglers, Wranglers I've ever seen. Um, just love the black with the uh, blue accents for the 4xE, and the interior on this thing is awesome as well. So we're gonna get right into it. I'm just gonna go all the way around. We're gonna take a look at the original window sticker as well. You'll notice that this one has the uh, metal bumpers here. You get the blue, uh, four by E blue, if you will, uh, tow hooks. You get the LED fog lamps, the LED running lights and the fenders, as well as the LED headlamps and running lights there. You get the low gloss black grille. You also get the anti-glare sticker or decal on the hood as well as the 4xE decal looks really good. Actually, I, I think that's just one sticker with the design in there. Um, painted fenders, painted hard top, really, really a good looking Wrangler. Love the Rubicon lettering with the blue outline on there. Painted and polished aluminum rims with the blue Wrangler on there as well, or the blue Jeep. You get the BF Goodrich all-terrain TA KO2 tires. These are LT285 70R17s, definitely have an all-terrain tread pattern to them. And uh, just a couple little things on the Wrangler I always like to show you. You get the little sandals on the plastic shroud there. You get the Jeep climbing up the side. You get the T50 on the doors, which tells you which Torx wrench to get these bolts off to take your doors off. We actually did a demo on how to take your doors off your JL. That's in the upper right-hand part of the screen if you want to check that out. I also really like the Jeep lettering on the side here. You get the blue surround on it and the Wrangler sticker there. Note on the 2023s, it doesn't say unlimited anymore. I thought maybe that was just for the Willis package, but they don't do it on the Rubicons either. Um, just says Wrangler. You also get the rock rails. That's part of the Rubicon package. I'm gonna show you the original window sticker here. Feel free to pause this. I'm not gonna go through everything because there is just a ton, but I'm gonna go through most of it, including all the optional equipment. You can see it is a 2023 Wrangler four-door Rubicon 4xE. You get the black exterior, black interior, the two liter dual overhead cam, turbo engine, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left there is standard equipment for the Rubicon Wrangler package. And then the exterior, everything is standard there. Optional equipment starts with the black clear coat, which is 495. The leather trim bucket seats are 1995. You get the Customer Preferred Package 29V, which gives you the cold weather group, which is $13.95, gives you heated seats, remote start, heated and leather wrapped steering wheel. Steel Bumper Group, which is $19.95, gives you the steel front and rear bumpers. The hard top headliner by Mopar is $5.25, and the three piece body color hard top is $28.95. You get that satin black grill by Mopar, which is 325, and then the body color Rubicon Highline Flare or the Fender Flares are 995. Total MSRP is an even $73,000 on this Jeep to get all the rebates and incentives on this vehicle. In the upper right-hand part of the screen is a link to our website, so click that to get all the pricing and rebate information on this particular Wrangler. Uh, warranty coverage, five years, 60 powertrain. So that's on the, en the gas engine and the transmission, eight speed, or I'm sorry, eight year, 100,000 mile hybrid system limited warranty. Um, so that's on the hybrid system, the eight year, 100,000 mile on the high voltage battery, and then three year, 36 bumper to bumper. So you get the five year, 60 powertrain, and then the eight year, 100 on the battery and hybrid system. There are There is the fill fuel economy um, stuff here. So 49 miles per gallon electric, 
20 miles per gallon average with just the gasoline engine and you get 22 miles of just electric um, charge to this so you can go 22 miles just on the electric batteries so if you had a short commute to work under 10 miles you could go to work and back and not have to charge your vehicle or put gas in it or you wouldn't have to put gas in it ever if you just used the charge and plugged it in at night so that's pretty cool it'd be perfect for somebody like me i live very close to work so wrangler 4xe might be in my future um Annual fuel costs 1800 bucks. There's your CO2 and smog ratings. Um, it's not rated for any safety test ratings. We're gonna get to this interior in a second because it is just, just beautiful. A couple things to point out with those painted fender flares. You get the 3M tape on there to protect it from rocks and whatnot. Uh, the color match hardtop looks really good with those painted fender flares. The steel bumpers look really good as well. Uh, you get the blue tow hook back here, the 4xE lettering on the back, and that E is actually got just a little bit of metal flake in it, as does the uh, 4X right there. I think that's granite crystal. You get the LED tail lamps as well. Get a better look at that tread pattern on those tires there. Back storage area, plenty of room back here. You do get the factory subwoofer. Um, this is your case for your charger. And then this is your case for your front hardtop pieces. There is your charger. I'll show you where that plugs into in just a second. Door hinge bolts, roof bolts, windshield bolts go in there, and then your jack tools. You get the bolts on the side of the hardtop. There's three on the bottom, one on the top, four on each side, so a total of eight. There's two quick disconnects to get this hardtop off. If you ever wanted to figure out how to get your top, hard top off your JL, I got a video showing you how to do that in the upper right hand part of the screen. So check that out, very popular. You can see that you get the insulated hard top pieces there. So what that is, it's kind of like a, a carpeted foam that's up there and it just cuts down on noise and in winter it keeps the heat in just a little bit better than the uh, normal all plastic ones. You get the JL badge on the back of the doors with two door, four door over, overall length and wheelbase, as well as water fording. There's your HD backup camera. Get the black fuel door. Um, and then I want to show you this interior because this interior is just, just gorgeous. Has the black leather interior. You get the blue stitching throughout the entire vehicle. On the center console there, on the seats, you get the Rubicon stitched into the backrest with that blue stitching all the way down. Even the recline handle has the stitching in it. Um, the steering wheel has the stitching and the dash is leather wrapped and it has the blue stitching on there as well. So really, really good looking. It's on the armrest too. Power locks, mirrors. This is your hybrid system. Um, so you can go full hybrid mode, you can go full electric mode, and then e-save is basically just using the uh, gas engine, um, depending on what type of driving you're doing, uh, how much battery you have left, all that good stuff. We actually did a drive along with a 4xE. If you wanna check out that video, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen as well. I'll show you the back seats real quick. Now the really only discernible difference um, besides obviously the hybrid system between a regular Wrangler and the 4xE is on the 4xE, you do not get the seats that fold down uh, flat. You get this seat that folds up and then this backrest folds down, but this is where your batteries are. So that is elevated and these seats do not fold down like the normal Wrangler does. Um, you can put that headrest down though still and uh, you can put this backrest down like so, even with the seat there. And then if the seat is up, I might have to put that front seat up a little bit farther, but no, that goes down. And that's nice and flat, so if you need to set stuff on it, no problem. Um, you get two USBs and two USB-Cs back here, as well as a 115 volt, 150 watt plug-in factory floor mats, child safety locks in the back doors. And I uh, did want to show you, so this is where you plug in your electric charger for that system. 
There's a little cover on there, plugs right in there, just snaps right in once it's in the right spot. And it's uh, really a really easy system to use. And uh, also like the trail rated four x four with the blue on it. Take a quick look at the radio and everything inside. Get the Rubicon 4xE animation at the beginning, the seven inch LCD display. Once again, that black leather wrap steering wheel with the blue stitching looks really, really good. Cruise controls on the right, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. This one has the 8.44C radio. You get AM, FM, and Sirius XM radio capabilities. Navigation system is loading on there. And uh, you can see that's working nicely. Uh, you get your heated seats heated steering wheel controls, and then the backup cameras on these are HD now. Love that. You also have all your different uh, apps on here, including Projection Manager, where you can project your cell phone to the screen. We actually did a demo on Android Auto. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right-hand part of the screen. Then you get all your different um, apps right here. It has hybrid electric. I'm not really sure what that's for. You also have your off-road pages. These take a second to load, so while they're loading, I'll show you that it does have the volume tune and more tactile climate controls down here, including heated seats and steering wheel. This is for your, you can put it into a battery recharge mode. So it'll uh, take extra braking to recharge with the regenerative braking. It'll take um, extra charge from the engine to charge the batteries if, you're, if your batteries are super low um, and you can turn that mode on and off. So it's like a max recharge mode. There's your off-road pages, you get your steering angle, sway bar connected, disconnected, front axle locked, unlocked, um, accessory gauges, and your pitch and roll. You have latitude, longitude on there, as well as your altitude. So a lot of really cool stuff you can do with that. You get your power windows right there. You can. This is what makes a Rubicon a Rubicon sway bar disconnect. You can lock front and rear axles, or you can lock just the rears. Your four-wheel drive uh, system right there with the four-wheel drive auto and part-time eight-speed automatic transmission. Keyless entry with remote start, and you get the flipper key on there as well. Always liked these key fobs, nice and chunky. Notice that leather wrap dash. So the Rubicon 4xEs give you the leather wrap, just like the Saharas give you the leather wrap dash. And then those front hard top pieces also have the insulation on it. You can get a little bit better look at that material right there. You also have home link buttons right there and assistant SOS buttons in the mirror. So what happens when you turn a 4xE on? Sometimes it'll start the engine, sometimes it will just turn on and it'll say ready to go. Uh, so this time it turned on the engine. Uh, what I'm gonna do though is I'm just gonna walk around with all the lights on here and we'll get this baby charged up right after the video. That's probably why the engine started. Now I want to show you all the LED lights in the back. They look really, really good. I would personally like to thank you for checking out the video today, checking out one of what I think is the best looking Wrangler I've ever seen. And I uh, want to know your opinion on it. Just love the color combo. I like that it's a four by E, it would be super convenient for me. Um, let me know your thoughts on the 4xE, the color, the combo, and everything. And uh, thanks again for checking out the video. And to see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we got to go to that website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle from two locations, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, you can go to youtube.com slash summitauto. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos that you see there. Click the bell notifications and you'll get updates on the videos that I do each and every day here at Summit Automotive. In fact, in a second, you'll see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to more Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out, and we're super excited to be offering the 2023 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon 4xE in black clear coat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Uh, like I said, comment on the video below, and uh, thanks again for checking it out, and subscribe to that YouTube channel.